Welcome Virgo. This is Renee and welcome back. Virgo, we're going to take a look at how your person feels right now. How are they feeling? Uh, how they see you? Where they see your relationship at this moment? And how you are feeling in this relationship? Okay, um, this is a timeless reading, but be aware that, you know, the, um, the cards can be flipped. So if it resonates more on your side or on their side, you know, just be, be aware that, you know, your energies can be flipped here. Okay, so take it how it resonates. Okay, let's take a look at your energy. We're going to take a look at your person's energy first. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Imagination. Okay, for you, we have purpose. I know that I am here. I know what I am here to do. Okay, so I feel like you and your person are very ambitious. There may be a lot of things going on. You may both have very stringent careers that may take a lot of your time at the bottom we have surrender i can release my need to control so i feel like spirit is letting you know that you're both very busy you're both both very driven but i feel like one of you needs to release control so that the other one can feel more satisfied is what i'm getting okay so let's take a look at the tarot take a look at the tarot tell me about virgo's person how are they feeling at this moment tell me about virgo's person how are they feeling at this moment the temperance card okay how they feel about you is the world and how they feel about your relationship is the strength card oh <laughs> wow and how you are feeling in this relationship is the hermit look at all those major arcanas this is a very important message and I feel like, you know, um, there's a lot of opportunity here for progression. There's a lot of opportunity for change, for, you know, accepting many things for, you know, you and this person may have a lot of options because I, I feel like you're both driven. I feel like you're both very ambitious. You're you're both go-getters. Um, but Virgo, I feel like your person is in this healing period. They're looking for balance, but they're also looking for a huge blessing. They may be waiting for something to come through. Okay, but I feel like your person has a lot of patience. They have a lot of patience in this situation. So they may be the one who is kind of standing back and letting things letting things go is what I'm getting. Okay, but they see you as the world. You are their world. You know, you are their reward, their achievement. So they see you as a very high standard and they feel like this relationship is very nurturing, very, um, very strong, very capable. Um, they feel fearless when it comes to you because in your relationship, because they feel like you and this person are against the world. OK, so it is very Wow, th this is the strongest energy I have received in this readings yet. So I feel like this is a very important message for you and this person. Because you have all these major arcanas here. Major arcanas are very strong messages from the universe. So I feel like there is a lot of healing here. There is a lot of progression. And I feel like your person really sees you as someone that they set on a pedestal, someone that is of high standard, of high value and intellect to them. They see you as all these signs. Look at this. We have fire, passion. We have value, you know, the pinnacles. We have intellect and thoughts with the swords. We have feelings of love and nurturing and you know, feelings overflowing with the cups. So this person kind of combines you into all of these feelings. 
and they find this as very strong, very capable, like it's you and them against the world. They see you as a blessing. They see you as a blessing, Virgo, okay? And I feel like, you know, you're you're going through this. I feel like you may have been through a lot of things in the past, Virgo, but I feel like you're being led you know, by your wisdom, by your the lessons that you've learned. I feel like you've learned a lot of lessons along the way. So you're kind of going with the flow. You're not veering off your path. You're very um you're very loyal to this person. You know, you're staying on the path. You're following that wisdom. You're learning things from past relationships. And you're like bringing that information here. I feel like that's the reason why this person finds you as so valuable. Because you are a experienced. You have experience with the situation. Maybe you were in a long relationship before. And you, you know, they see you as someone who is marriage material. Okay, um, so yeah, this is this is deep here, Virgo. Let's get some clarification for Virgo. What is going on? Let's get some verification for Virgo. With the Temperance card, we have the Queen of Swords. Yeah, they're trying to get a full understanding. Um, with the World card, we have the Four of Swords. Now look at this. With the Strength, we have the World. Wow, beautiful. And with the Hermit, we have the Ten of Swords. Okay, at the bottom, we have the Ace of Swords. So I definitely feel like, you know, there's a lot of things. Look at this. I definitely feel like there's a lot of things that you've been through, um, Virgo. But I feel like you are seeing things at a huge point of view you know you've had this you've had something that you had to end something that had to go so that you could move into this new beginning look at this we have the ten of swords and the ace of swords this is endings and this is new beginnings so i feel like there's a lot of changes going on here there's there's been a lot of changes in your perspective there's been a lot of changes in how you understand the situation how you understand where it's going and what is possible okay so with the temperance card we have the queen of swords so i feel like your your person is gaining a better understanding of you and your situation i feel like they're they're becoming more supportive they're looking at things from your point of view okay so i feel like they're expecting huge blessings and huge um possibilities because they have patience they have a lot of patience in this situation they're not making any hasty moves okay they're they're sitting back waiting for things to unfold and with the world card we have the four of swords so i feel like this is this is a recovery you know you're recovering that they, they feel like they are able to feel rested, relaxed, and rejuvenated when they're around you. And they may feel like you may need to relax more, like you may need, you know, some quiet time, you know, to be rejuvenated, to be nourished, to be, you know, have that quality time with them. Okay? Because we have the strength card and the world card. So this strength is building this is evolving this is changing this is huge change in accomplishments so i feel like where the situation is going is limitless you know your relationship is one of the strongest readings i have done yet so i feel like there's there's a lot that you and your person are capable of you just have to have faith in each other and your achievements and learn learn the lessons from the things that you go through and you know move to the next cycle i feel like you're moving to the next level with this person you know there may be marriage 
in the near future if you're not already engaged if you're not already married to this person i feel like that is the next level that you're going through okay uh, let's take a look at an outcome not even that we need to because i feel like this reading is very clear okay we have the seven of wands we have the uh three of swords and the sun okay beautiful at the bottom we have the ace of wands so i feel like there's a lot of fire here there's a lot of passion a lot of forward motion you know there's a lot of newness here you know we have the ace of wands and the ace of swords and two world cards so there's there's new cycles new growth new things happening um there may be a few surprises along the way because i feel like with the seven of wands i feel like you are totally letting your guard down you feel free with this person you feel like you're able to be totally healed from from any past situations you're not carrying that weight of the past with you because you feel so much happiness so much enlightenment awareness abundance you know this person makes you feel larger than life is what i'm getting you know they put you up on this pedestal and they make you feel overjoyed okay so let's get an angel number let's get an angel number for virgo okay we have seven 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 alignment your progress is being recognized and alignment is here it is within your reach the whisper is reminding you to stay the course and feel source working through you your gifts are being recognized your affirmation i blossom and bloom as i use my gifts all things simply align as i feel the feelings of the divine so I feel like you you have this beautiful balance, this beautiful awareness of where this relationship is going. So I hope this helps you, Virgo. And if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. I have the March readings in a playlist. Look at your sun, moon, rising, and Venus for love. And until your next reading, I hope this helped you so much, Virgo. Many blessings to you. Love and light.